Hello everyone and welcome back, hope you're well. So guys, we're going to review a fairly inexpensive watch from Casio in this video. Uh, but just quickly again, before we start with the review, if you like this channel and like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and help in keeping this channel alive on YouTube. So this is the reference number for the watch we have here with us today. It is a bit of a long one, so um, I will put this in the uh, description of my video. From the price point of view, um, I only paid $30 for this watch on Amazon Australia. I think if you're in the US, they, they only go for about $10 to $15. Uh, dollars, but there are so many color options out there now. You can have this in whole black. Uh, there's blue, then there is um, black and gold. Uh, there's a stainless steel uh, version now as well. And I think that goes for about 60 or 70 bucks, uh, Australian that is. So a lot of lot of color options out there. I, I decided to go for this. I I, I just bought this um, watch uh, for uh, for this review, and this was the cheapest option on um, on Amazon for thirty bucks. The other others were like thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, or even even um, more than that. So uh, yeah, thirty bucks. It does offer a lot uh, of value for uh, for those thirty bucks that I've paid for this. I'm wearing my um, other $30 uh, Casio, which is this World Time. Uh, excellent, excellent watch. And I've done a full review on this watch as well. Uh, you can always visit my channel to um, uh, to watch that review. But coming back to this watch. So the dimensions, um, the case measures at 42.8 millimeters across. If we consider these two, um, these two crown guards, uh, then we're looking at about 44.8 uh, millimeters in case size. Lug to lug distance is 47.5 millimeters, case thickness is 11.8, and the uh, lug width on this one is uh, 18 millimeters. Look, you will be able to find um, a, a few strap options out there for this um, uh, for this watch, but I don't think a lot of people will be uh, spending um, more money on these watches. If you do decide to, then there are other options out there anyway. I mean, if you'd like a stainless steel bracelet, you can buy this uh, with a stainless steel uh, bracelet. Uh, as well, so uh, yeah, but 80 millim uh, millimeter lug width, those uh, pins will be uh, quite straightforward to take out uh, should you decide to replace uh, this um, plastic uh, strap with something uh, different. The whole watch is, uh, for that matter, made out of uh, plastic, uh, including the uh, the bezel, the uh, glass on the top, except those, the uh, the two parts which are stainless steel is uh, the case back and the uh, the crown at three o'clock. This unsigned crown but everything else is all all plastic as as seen in uh, with most of these entry level these 20 30 bucks um, uh, Casios um, anyway they're all made out of um, plastics on most occasions so $30 that is 30 Australian what we get is we get 100 meters of water resistance with a pull and push uh, push crown so really really handy the um, the dial is really really legible uh, we have the uh, Arabics uh, for our markers, and then we've got the uh, the 24 uh, on the uh, inner ring. Everything else is uh, is all printed on there. Casio, you can see quartz water resist 100 meters. We do have a minute track on the uh, on the chapter ring uh, as well, and um, the um, uh, this um, this bezel. It's a uh, it's a friction based bezel, and it's bi directional, so you can you can uh, rotate it either way. No no problems there. Um, and there is loom uh, on the hands and there is light loom on the markers as well. Loom is not the strongest uh, on this watch, but I'm not going to complain too much about not having a strong loom on a $30, um, on a $30 Casio. That's, that's definitely not the point. So let's do a quick loom check anyway while we are talking about it. Uh, but as I said, it's um, not, the, uh, not the strongest of looms. There you go. There is some loom. There's definitely loom on... Uh, on the hands, which is uh, stronger than um, than the loom on the markers, there is uh, that loom tip on the seconds hand as well. But yeah, it's it's um, not the the strength is not great, and it does fade away fairly quickly as well. So that's that's the uh, that's the quality of loom uh, for you guys. Let me just put the lights back on again. Uh, what else do we get with this watch is we get day and date complication again insane for 30 bucks We're getting all of this uh, so day and date complication quite straightforward uh, to set the day and date on this watch So when you pull the crown out uh, to position one 
rotating the crown in a clockwise position will change the uh, day as you can see in the video now rotate the crown in an anti-clockwise position and you'll be able to set the uh, date when you pull the crown out to its final position that's where you'll be able to set the time on this watch so uh, fairly fairly straightforward uh, the case back is uh, screwed on you can see those four screws holding the uh, the case uh, in place it's got some information there you can see uh, the information about the battery used the uh, the quartz movement in this watch uh, the um, you can see uh, 100 meters of uh, water resistance that 10 bar uh, it is cased in China uh, which is okay no no problems there either uh, so that's the uh, that's the case back uh, for you uh, the glass is all plastic as well, so I said that the, all, all, all of the watch except the um, the case back and the crown is um, made out of plastic. One thing uh, you will need to be mindful of with this watch is that you will uh, scratch uh, this easily, including that uh, plastic glass on the top. Um, so uh, yeah, just to be um, just be careful. Um, I mean, but that's the whole point, yeah. That when when you're buying a, a watch for thirty dollars. Um, you don't want to stress about, um, you know, stress about uh, your watch too much, uh, and um, that th and this watch gives you that peace of mind that it's uh, that you haven't paid a lot of money uh, to be uh, to be worrying about. Um, the strap is plastic. We've got one loose keeper. The the buckle is plastic as well, and it is marked with the Casio on there. So um, overall, really really nice watch for thirty bucks. I mean, you can't really complain too much about these um, about these watches. This gives you that peace of mind that you can go into the water with that 100 meters of water resistance, even though you don't have a screw down crown. But um, you can um, go swimming, snorkeling, and all those uh, all those activities, uh, kayaking and stuff like that. So um, uh, yeah, and um, really nice looking, really legible um, legible um, dial, uh, really legible bezel as well. It's marked all around. As you can see uh, with that red triangle um, on the top at 12 o'clock let me give you a quick reshot uh, of this watch uh, I've got a seven inch uh, I've got a seven inch wrist let me put this on my wrist and I'll uh, and you'll be able to see what this uh, how this watch stacks up on my seven inch uh, wrist and uh, so so here we go From the sides, yes, yeah, uh, fits really nicely. It sits fairly flat. Really nice looking thing for um, for thirty dollars. And and the thing is, there is so many other options out there with this um, uh, with this watch. There's so many colours that you can choose from. There's blues, there's blacks, um, and then as I said, there are, are pretty, I'm pretty sure I saw a, uh, a stainless steel option uh, on Amazon Australia as well. So um, uh, really nice looking thing for thirty bucks. Uh, so okay guys this concludes our review of this Casio. Thank you very much for watching um, I'll see you with my next video shortly until then uh, stay safe and look after one another